What's on my pedal board? Well, it's more a question of what's on my pedal boards and what's not on them because it can't fit. You know, I was doing a video just there and I realized my pedal board is out of control. I'd stripped it down to one board at one point to try to get efficient and I even played some gigs last year, some kind of outdoor gorilla masked gigs in the pandemic with just a chorus and a distortion pedal. And while I was in music school last semester, I was just carting around a chorus, a Timmy overdrive fuzz pedal, and um, sometimes a, a loop station. But sitting back in the apartment and playing around a little bit with um, goth music, ethereal dark wave, and just layering on some effects, it just struck me that it's a little bit unmanageable and it's kind of funny. So I thought, hey, let's just take a look at what's on the board here. If there's anything on this board that you're interested in hearing more about, just let me know in the comments below. I've probably talked about a lot of these pedals, but if there's anything you want to hear more about or something I haven't talked about, just go ahead and comment. But let's just take a quick look. I thought it'd be fun. At least it's going to be fun for me. I always enjoy looking at these things. So the pedal board is a mess. I mean, look at the cables going everywhere. Um, it's all plugged in all over the place, but that's just kind of how it was set up at the moment, just to record some stuff. But what's on here? So this is a space station pedal. This is a pedal that has about 99 different effects, including some pretty weird um, synth tracks and alien sounds and what have you. That could deserve its own review video or 20 of them. There's so many effects on there. I have a tuner pedal on here too, pretty standard equipment. This Hall of Fame reverb is beautiful. It has so many different reverb effects on there. Uh, I've done a whole video checking out all those effects in great detail. I love this thing. I rely on that quite heavily. My Vox amp has a beautiful reverb sound on there, but I can't always carry that to every gig. So that's why I was looking for a standalone reverb pedal, which is where I ended up with this guy. My Vintage Rat, this is super critical to my sound. It's just signature, beautiful distortion. And I've also talked about that in a prior video. It sometimes has a weird glitch where it kind of cuts out the sound. So it's just a little old and I worry about it, but I don't know if I could live without it. Delay pedal, this is fantastic, especially for ethereal dark wave or goth music, or if you're playing with an Ebo or something like that, it's just really invaluable piece of equipment. This guy I just bought last year, fantastic MXOR phase pedal. I've also got a review of that if you want to check it out. That's got some surprisingly beautiful sounds. It also looks cool. Look at the color on it and the size is awesome. This is a volume boost, which I have used live at times. We just want to get that little extra volume, not to be annoying or cut out the rest of the band, but sometimes you just need to jump the volume. I have a volume pedal as well, but that's a little different than the volume boost. And that's really cool for things like the Ebo, where you need to roll the volume off a little bit. This is the Donner Beltway Loop pedal. I've talked about that in a prior video too. Really small and compact and very versatile. This is the Earthquaker Device C Machine Chorus. I love this. Every time I look at this pedal, I just think the cure to wish impossible things. And it's just a beautiful pedal. It has so many sounds on there. It's a lot more than just chorus. It's a crazy trippy pedal. This is a flanger. I love this guy too. I use this a lot when I'm playing heavier indie grungy rock as well as trying to sound like Robert Smith a little bit, although I don't really know what he does if he even uses that flanger pedal. This cathedral, I just can't overstate enough how amazing the sounds of this are. It really is just a reverb pedal, just quote unquote, but it does so many different types of reverb and has so many different settings that it is just worth the investment. This adds such a lush, sweeping, epic palette to your sound box. Those are my two pedal boards. I'm using the the Boss BCB60 pedal board, which comes with its own built-in power system, so you can power all of the Boss pedals, and a bunch of other pedals can work off of that too. Problem is, it doesn't really fit all my pedals, so then I have this other pedal board beside it, which is plugged in in series. But, you know, it's also a question of what's not on my pedal board, because not everything fits there. I could probably have a third pedal board. This is a Boss Loop Station. And I've been using the Donner Beltway instead, just to save some space, but this thing is a really powerful piece of equipment. This guy, the Octafuzz, Jimi Hendrix, a go-go. Absolutely love the sounds you get out of this. It's fuzz, it's distortion, but it's also weird pitch modulation and octave additions and all kinds of other crazy sounds. If you're a massive Hendrix fan, this is something that you're gonna have a lot of fun with. This is a foot switch for the 
loop station. So what you can do is, instead of having to use the switch to control which of the loops you're going to play back, this fuzz switch can control that for you. So that's, that's pretty powerful too, although it doesn't really give you as much control as, as I'd like, but uh, I've talked about that in, in a prior video. The Timmy fuzz pedal, this is great. It doesn't just add distortion, fuzz gain. It can also control the, the tone of your sound so you can cut the bass or the treble, which really helps if you don't have as much control over the amplifier that you're going to play with at a live gig. So I've really enjoyed adding that to my arsenal. This MXOR distortion pedal, I got this because it's the one that Bob Mould of Husker Du and Sugar uses, and I love this pedal. I've talked about this one too a little bit on the channel. You can just roll the distortion off and just play full chords and have a touch of distortion so it doesn't overpower or get too muddy or crazy in the sound, but it just gives you a really lovely, distinct signature in the sound. This is a, a less vintage rat than my vintage rat, and I did an A-B test of these on another video, and I do think that the vintage rat pedal is just much better. But it's a pretty cool pedal all the same. Basic standard CE2 Boss Chorus. I'm, I don't have this on the board because I already have my Earthquaker device chorus on there. And then lastly, this Ernie Ball Tremolo. I really enjoyed reviewing this one and looking at this one too. There's just so many cool sounds you can get out of it. So that's what's on my pedal board right now. I, I can not promise you I'm not gonna go and spend money on a bunch of more pedals. I always say that. I always tell myself, you don't need any more books. Stop buying books. You haven't read the ones you bought yet. And stop buying guitar pedals. And stop buying guitars. But I don't really listen to myself. So um, that's all for today. If you like what you see on the channel, don't forget to click the like button and hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're notified when I post new content. And I'll see you all again in the next video. Take it easy.